In this video, you will learn how to substitute values in expressions. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master topics on algebra, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. So let's have a look at algebra substitution. So substitution in algebra just means replacing the letters with numbers. So if you have an example such as what is the value of the following expression if y equals 8, all you're going to do is to replace all of the y's in this expression with 8 because it says what is the value of the following expression if y equals 8. So that means all of these y's we have right here in this expression basically equal 8. So we need to substitute the 8 for these both y's we have in this expression, which is y plus 7y. So let's first substitute the 8, and then let's move into the second one, which is 7y. So now, for the 7y, however, 7y is the same as 7 times y. Because it's the same as 7 times y, when you replace this y, you're going to get 7 times 8. So whenever you have a multiplication such as 7y, you're always meant to expand it when you substitute. Otherwise, if you don't expand it, you're going to be left with 78, which is not right. Instead, you have to expand it to 7 times y, and then you can substitute this y. So we have 7 times y, and when you substitute this y, basically going to get 7 times 8. The next thing we have to work this question out, and we have 8 plus 7 times 8. Thing to remember, in this case, we have to use bit mass. If you guys want to know more about bit mass, I've got a video on bit mass. Go check the video out. The link is in the description below. So we have 8 plus 7 times 8. You have to first do 7 times 8 because multiplication is higher up than addition in bit mass or in the order of operation. So 7 times 8 will give you 56. And then you have to add this 8 and then 8 plus 56 will give you an answer of 64. So that means your answer to this question is 64. And let's have a look at another example in algebra substitution. And in this example, it says in the following questions, w equals 5, x equals 7, y equals minus 8, and z equals minus 2. And let's start with the first example, which is x plus yz. So we know that the x is obviously x equals 7 which means we need to substitute a 7 for this x. So we can write a 7 directly underneath the x. The next thing we have to do is substitute for this yz. And as we all know, yz is the same as y times z. So we know that yz is the same as y times z, and we know that y is minus 8, and we also know that z is minus 2. So we're going to do minus 8 times minus 2. So write that down. Minus 8 times minus 2. Now, we have 7 plus minus 8 times minus 2. This question might look a bit confusing at the start, but as you go through it, it will be much more easier. So we know that we have plus and multiplication. We have addition and multiplication, and according to bit mass or the order of operation, multiplication is higher up. So we do multiplication first. So minus 8 times minus 2, 16. And the next thing, we have to add this to the 7. 7 plus 16 will give you an answer of 23, which means our answer is 23. Let's have a look at another example, such as x minus y plus w. x minus y plus w. We know that x is 7, so substitute the 7 for the x. And we know that the y is minus 8. So write down the minus 8 as well. So once you've done that, the next thing we have to do is to add the w, which is 5. So we have to do plus 5. And now, this question might look a bit difficult because we're doing 7 minus minus 8 plus 5. And as you guys could see, we have two minuses next to each other. Because we have two minuses next to each other, we have to do this bit differently. If you guys want to know more about subtracting and adding negative numbers, I've got a video on that as well. The link is in the description below. So go check that out. And whenever you have two of the same signs next to each other, such as plus or minus next to each other, then you always do addition. So basically going to do 7 plus 8. And then you're going to add the 5 at the end. So now this question looks much more simpler. So 7 plus 8 will be 15. 
15 plus 5 will give you an answer of 20. So let's move on to our final example, which is w plus brackets x minus z. So in this example, as you guys could see, we have brackets. So let's start by substituting this w first. The w is 5. So write a 5 underneath. Next thing, we're going to add this to the brackets, which are x minus z. And we know that x is obviously 7. So that means write a 7 underneath the x. And then the z is going to be minus 2. So write a minus 2. So this question looks just like the one we had previously, such as this one. So the same rule applies once again. So we have 5 plus brackets 7 minus minus 2. We know that brackets is at the top when it comes to order of operation. So you do brackets first. And whenever you have two of the same signs next to each other, whether it's plus or minus, then you're always going to do addition. So you are basically going to do 7 plus 2. And 7 plus 2 will give you 9. Then add the 5. So we have 5 plus 9. And 5 plus 9 will give us an answer of 14, which means our answer to this question is 14. Now to learn more on algebra, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.